All these humans just sitting here watching them for this glass panel. This is the kind of thing you only see in Borneo. Upsetting yeah, to yeah, watch yeah. the males be so aggressive. Good morning and welcome Hi. back to Borneo. Today we're walking to the first and oldest orangutan sanctuary in the entire world. <laughs> It's been three days since we climbed Mount Kinabalu. And we're still literally. <laughs> and we look like we're practicing to be extras in the new like zombie film or something. So it's about, it's supposedly a five minute walk from where we're staying and we've set off early because. God knows how long it's going to take us. Ed, there's banana fritters there. Banana fritters the in the yeah. jungle. There's a man blowing leaves and it's loud. <laughs> Right, we got our tickets. You have to pay a camera fee. How much is the camera fee? Ten inch. Ten one. That's like one pound fifty. If you bring like a proper camera with a huge lens, you got to pay a thousand. Right, here we are. We're in. And this place is forty-three square kilometers. Founded in nineteen sixty-four, and it's basically for orphaned or injured orangutans to help them kind of replicate the wild and help them learn the skills needed for survival before being released. This way? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Very They're basically free roaming in here once they're out the nursery, which is where we're heading first. They could just appear anywhere at any time. I've seen the first one. Huh. Didn't take long. It was really orange, wasn't it? Yeah. We've arrived at the nursery, which is where new orangutans, as they mainly come in very young because they're orphaned, because their mothers are poached or sick or can't care for them. This is where they begin their rehabilitation. Okay, guys, I'm just going to briefly interrupt the beginning of this video to introduce you all to Tracy. I'm volunteering. I've oh, been wow. here for nine weeks. Wow. Yeah, and I've got another three to go. Oh, amazing. So I'm here with a charity. We met Tracy a bit further on in the day, and she had so much incredible information and passion for the orangutans that as we watch them throughout this video, she's going to provide some commentary to help us all learn more about them and just generally make it a Better experience for everyone. While I'm here, thank you so much for the support on our Malaysia videos. We're honestly completely blown away by it. We love you all. We love Malaysia. Enjoy the video. Wow. Look at the way it moves. And the mums pick up the hands and put them onto the ropes. You have to pick uh, up the baby's hand and put the baby's hand on that. So we do that for maybe three, four years, yeah. and then when they're big enough, we take them to the nursery and then they're free to go. It's weird, all these humans just sitting here watching them for this <coughs> glass panel. It is weird, isn't it? It is weird. Yet they share 96% of our DNA. You really can see it though, they're just so human. Yeah. Well, we're weird. more probably like them actually. <laughs> This is so cool. I can sit and watch them forever. The little ones have jungle training two hours in the morning and two hours in the afternoon. I find the amazing how interchangeable their hands and feet are. Well, they're basically they're like the same, same thing, thing, yeah. <coughs> their feet are so grippy. Feeding's begun. Look how that one's sitting. So they don't have to come for this feed, it's, it's an optional feed, so ones that can't find enough food out there in the sanctuary. Come and they can enjoy a meal here. Oh, 
Look at their arms. What's a real place? It must be amazing. It's amazing, it's for, amazing everyone. for us, no matter about the kids. It's like this little boy, which is like more. This is so human, human like. Their human. arms as well, their arms are so long. Apparently, their arms are one and a half times yeah. the length of their legs. Um, and we've made a Incredible. fairly swift exit from there. They, they, they come, if they want the food, they take the food, then they take it back into the forest. But the next place we are is the outdoor feeding platform and apparently if you want a really good view like you can get like within like two meters of them like with no glass you want to get there early and i really like it out here as well yeah because it is amazing in there but it's like it is like being it feels in a like a zoo yeah um so we've made a swift exit to try and get really good spots for the next bit that's which our top tip yeah which we've heard is we don't know if it works but we'll see yeah well, only time will tell oh so you can spot them out here oh you spotted one out here yeah I don't know if that was just super lucky that we spotted one out here earlier, but so peaceful out here. What a place. Hey? I need your hand there, like, oh. we, our legs don't work. Yeah, but we just came across on our walk in between the, from That's the nursery. The stuff like you see on David Attenborough. This is the kind of thing you only see in Borneo. Yeah. Like, look at that. People are coming. That's the weirdest caterpillar I've ever seen. You're more in the nurseries when the young injured or sick or orphaned orangutans come in they basically have 90 days in intensive care where they're checked for diseases um to just make sure they're in good health then they're kept kind of in the indoor nursery then they move to the outdoor nursery then they go like one kilometer into the forest which is called the platform so some of those ones that we saw coming in for the food probably live out on the platform but if you don't get enough food out here you can come and get a little feed and it's kind of the oh, slow okay, it's like the slow reintroduction to the wild um, and eventually they'll go out into the main reserve out of the nursery the thing is, though, and then into the wild what's stopping them all just, just going now with nothing food yeah, i don't know i presume there's like a wall there must yeah, be right otherwise be. poachers would get in i don't i don't really know about that um we'll try to find out is there a fence no there's no, there's no fence no so see that hole up there in the roof? Yeah. Alright, okay. Wow. Yeah. I have to take my van in at lunchtime because they would. Wow. Yeah, they love to. They're so curious, right? Yeah. So if we have somebody here, there's one of us, Ospi. She is very curious. She always watches people if they're fixing something or making something. She'll take their tools if they, if they don't. If they don't take them. Wow. She's very curious. Yeah. So they could just essentially leave? Yeah, so usually they follow a bigger one. So okay. I don't know if you saw there was a little one, I think I was saying to you, a little one, Tombolina, yeah. who um, is six years old, she's in the nursery, she's got a very furry back, yeah. if you notice her. But the other day she was at the feeding platform and we're like, whoa, Tombolina is here. And she's like, uh, like wow. looking around like this, where am I? Because she just followed one of the yeah. guys. Yeah, wow. She just followed them out. She didn't know where she was. Mm -hmm. But she found her way back. Yeah. Yeah, she okay. followed them back. And that's how they start their journey yeah. into the forest. Yeah, but yeah. yes, exactly. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. They get more confident. They stay maybe for one yeah. night, yeah. maybe two yeah. nights. Yeah. Yeah. But she frightened herself and then she stayed in her cage for two days. She oh, come wow. Out. <laughs> but she's okay now. She's fine. This way? Yeah, this way. Hey, The gates open We're on the way the to the main feeding the gate, platform. The gate opens. Okay, 20 minutes early. Yeah, we're 20 minutes early, but I think it'll be worth it. This is the main feeding platform. I reckon they'll scatter when the orangutans come. <laughs> Okay, uh, silent 
Oh my lord. Does that mean they were bringing a I guess not. I guess they're all well fed and self sufficient today. Interesting that the only one that came is the one that had a baby. Probably needs a food for the baby. That's what I mean. It's just biding its time right now. Everyone's now chasing the one orangutan that turned up to the feeding. Wow, look at it. I came six years ago as a visitor and adopted oh, a baby. Oh, wow. So we have our adoption scheme. And Beryl, you saw her today. Oh. She's now 13, but she lives in the forest. The feeding time for the adults, we basically waited, I don't know, half an hour? And then finally a huge orangutan came with its baby, but it didn't even eat anything. Um, which is actually a good thing because they only come for the food there if they can't find it in the wild. And so they try and keep human contact as minimal as possible. So yeah, basically replicate how life would be for when they get released. And that one obviously had a child, so maybe was coming to check it out, but didn't want to move in on those other monkeys that were absolutely devouring all the food. When in the world a baby orangutan will stay with its mother for seven to ten years? It teaches it how to look after itself and become self-sufficient, but obviously it has no mother. Can't learn these skills, can it? So it comes here. Well, That's why the, where the Sepaloc orangutan rehabilitation centre comes into play. What well, can be happy we've seen two. Oh, yeah. Two out in the wild, in inverted commas, and then a load in the nursery too. Yeah, but imagine how rare it is to see them even in here. So imagine how rare it is to see them in the actual wild. Yeah. That's next week. They can go to the hotel, sometimes they go to the jungle resort, we have to go and get them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really? Like, yeah. Literally. Yeah. 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 But they're good, they ring us and we yeah. 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 go, yeah. Do they pick him up in the car and just drive him back? Or? Well, what, no, they go over here and ch 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 chase him back. Oh, okay. come on, come on. Yeah. 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 But he's, he's okay, and we have another, we have two big males. We have a really big one and then a slightly smaller one. He was at the forest edge a few weeks ago. Mm -hmm. They sent a message to say. <laughs> he sent a message. Hi, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here. <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine opening your yeah. windows no. in the morning and there's an orangutan like this big sitting wow. on? Uh, they're yeah. not aggressive though. No, they're not aggressive. No. no. Not like Only these, when uh, they are. Do you see the yeah. differences between the orangutan and the macaques? Oh, sure. It's completely it's so dynamic. Yeah. dynamic. They're very dynamic. calm. Yeah. Orangutan is very calm yeah. and they just yeah. don't. The big one, the babies, sometimes they go over to him and poke him mm -hmm. and pull his hair. He just doesn't do anything. He just sits there. Wow. He's very calm. Except when he's with a lady. Yeah. Uh, then he is not yes. calm. Then he is very aggressive. Wow. And it's hard, right? Because they're so human. But when you see that, you're, oh, I don't want yeah. to watch it. Because it's yeah. a bit upsetting yeah, to yeah. watch the males be so aggressive. So. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's ambitious, is it? To see one like that with the flaps. Big old males. Didn't you say they only have two? But you say they only develop those flaps above like the age of 30 or something. Yeah, they only have two in there. Right, that's it. That's a, that's a wrap on the Sepaloc Orangutan Rehabilitation Centre. So you, nice in there. You can actually come back at three o'clock for the afternoon feeding. Sadly, we can't today because we're actually heading 
deep Deeper into the jungle, into um, the jungle, in search of wild yeah. orangutans. Um, but yeah, I'm sure you're, what you're wondering is what you can do to help these orangutans. So, on top of forest fires and poaching, the actual main reason they're so endangered and vulnerable is because of palm, palm oil. oil. Palm oil. So all of the land here. It's getting the forest just gets continuously bulldozed to create more palm oil farms because Malaysia, Indonesia, actually, yeah, produce eighty-five percent of the world's palm oil. And it's used in like lipstick, from lipstick to ice cream to like to shampoo, to ev everything. We are flying over, coming into Sandakan. The amount of palm tree farms was just just rows and rows, weren't there? Yeah, it's really sad, and a lot of people buy it because it. Some of it has a sustainable palm oil um, tag on it, but you can buy those through corruption with the government, which is really sad. Um, so yeah, that's just humans, I guess. But if you want to keep these amazing orangutans alive, hopefully forever, try and cut down your palm oil. And you can also come here, just make a donation online, stuff like that. Adopt one. Yeah. So down with palm oil. We hate palm oil. No more washing your hair, Tilly. You need to get stuff without palm oil. You stole some of my rice. Uh, no. I did steal some of your rice and your chicken. It arrived first and I was hungry. What? What's going on here? <laughs> oh, we're, we're back at our hotel now. Tilly's angry at me. I've stolen her food. Um, which is only a five minute walk from the Orangutan Rehabilitation Centre. So if you really want to just see that, this is a great place to stay. Pretty cheap as well. Good vibes. Nice and this jungle right behind it, like we went on a night walk here yesterday and saw a flying squirrel. That was so cool. Which was incredible. Anyway. A giant red flying squirrel. Yeah, it was pretty epic. I'm going to end this video here. Tilly, your thoughts on the Orangutan Rehabilitation so, Centre? It was so special. I thought, I, really, I thought it was done really well. As in, there's no fence. I mean, you literally, we saw two and we were there for three hours, so it's not like... Yeah, I feel lucky to have seen just two, to be honest. It. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was it was just amazing. It was just felt super surreal. This this whole part of Borneo just feels I don't know like exactly what I imagined like Borneo, Borneo to be like. Yeah, it's just it's really amazing. Um, it really feels like Borneo. Now we're eating some jungle fern. Have you tasted that? Yeah, I've tasted it. It's really good. It almost tastes like the Filipino mm. garlicky. Oh wow. Anyway, yeah. Um, that's a wrap. We're heading deep into the jungle now. Um, ah on what Animals. might be the greatest adventure of our entire lives so Animals. thanks for watching and we'll see you next week for that Animals. scary animals, animals. hopefully we can find some orangutans in the wild oh thank you